Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and the Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my Capricorns who are watching. So if you have Capricorn as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Capricorn, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and begin and get started, Capricorn, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign, so it may or may not resonate for you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. But without further ado here, Capricorn, let's go ahead and officially begin and get started with your reading and your energy. All right, can we please receive a couple messages for my Capricorns, please, when it comes to love? Let's go ahead and take both of those messages, Capricorn, just in case they do resonate. But let's see what else we have when it comes to Capricorn's energy. Let's go ahead and receive one more message, please, for, for now for my Capricorns. And with that, let's go ahead and officially begin here. So, first we have, you're on my mind. It's not fair to reach out to you because I'm not sure what I want. We also have the message of wait. You're such a beautiful person. You're such a beautiful person. I try my best to keep us afloat. I can't always do it alone. I want to see the world with you. You are so exciting to me. Have fun filling those voids. I will try to understand even when I can't relate. And last but not least for now, Capricorn, we have, I'm not asking for much, but I need to feel this is real. All right, Capricorn. So of course we'll have some more messages here. I feel like this is someone you already know here and you're definitely not faking what you want to feel versus how you actually feel right now. And of course, please only take what resonates for you, especially as I describe your energy, but I feel like what or how you feel as of now is like this is perhaps a waste of time or this person isn't serious or they're not being genuine here, especially if there's distance or this person did pull away. I feel like you Capricorn, you're not chasing this person, but you might be on that mind over matter energy, but at the same time, this is still on your mind, but you have things to do for yourself. And you're keeping things going for yourself here so it's like you're you're really paying attention to how you feel and i i feel like if you expect to hear back from this person it's not going to make it any better that now they come back to you you wanted their presence consistently so you're not faking how you feel capricorn and perhaps this is a person from the past because of everything that unfolded here I feel like you did present yourself as someone who was open, someone who was down to earth, someone who wanted to be in this person's life. They had a supporter and I feel like your energy radiated that. So the fact that they may have ignored you or they're doing that silent treatment energy, it's like I was the last person that deserved that, especially being the person I, I was to you or I am to you. Let's go ahead and start with you're such a beautiful person. This is for you, Capricorn, but I feel like this is the type of person you were in this person's life or definitely how they recognize you, Capricorn. Not only attractiveness, but inner attractiveness as well. You have, a, you have an attractive personality and I feel like your morals, your values, your goals, you have that goal, you have that go-getter. I was going to say goal getter, so both, but that go getter mentality and that attitude. And I, and I feel like you, you're definitely abundant Capricorn. You create, and there's so much beauty within you. So you're such a beautiful person. Take this as a personal message, but also the energy that you radiated. 
I would try to understand even when I can't relate you being there for this person, Capricorn. Of course, you may not agree, but there's two sides of the, the equation here. So you trying to understand even when things are harsh, even when things aren't so pleasant. Be honest with me. Be truthful with me. Cancer also had this message in the reading. It's like, be honest, be truthful, so we could work from there, so we could see what we can do, so I could try to offer something. But if you just lie to me, when if you just escape this by ignoring it, then that makes me lose respect for you. I want to see the world with you. You are so exciting to me. I feel like this is perhaps how you felt about this person, just the interest, the curiosity, the attraction that you had with them or towards them, also wanting to incorporate them in experiences and share moments with them I feel like that's how much they were growing on you I try my best to keep us afloat I can't always do it alone this being your energy Capricorn and I feel like you're very self-sufficient Capricorn but that doesn't mean that sometimes it it doesn't feel nice for someone else to step in for someone else to take action and take initiative I feel like you may be so used to doing things for yourself and that's how it should be. You're independent, but it, it may be hurtful when you've been there for people. You've provided your resources. You, you've taken action and taken initiative and they can't do that for you. They can't mend something that they, that they broke in the first place. So I feel like this person's actions, I'm pulling away them throwing this away that could have been what really burned the bridge here i'm not uh, excuse me i'm not asking for much but i need to feel this is real this being your energy capricorn you're not faking how you feel you're not just going with the flow you know what you want and you're not about to settle for less have fun filling those voids i feel like this is your energy capricorn it's like whatever you're on i'm not on i don't want to be on that path that you're on especially when you've shown me two different sides of yourself so you do you i'm going to continue to do me you're on my mind it's not fair to reach out to you because i'm not sure what i want i feel like this is this person's energy i feel like this person knows the position that they're in with you right now as far as any tension or any awkwardness or any weirdness so it's like they don't want to reach out to you until they're firm until they're definitive on what they want because they already know the light that you may see them in as of now but they may not even have that opportunity towards you, Capricorn. You're on my mind. It's not fair to reach out to you because I'm not sure what I want. And wait, so that energy of divine timing coming back into play, but or being at play as of now, but depending on how you feel, Capricorn, of course, only take what resonates for you. You may feel or expect to hear back from this person, but as far as any, any sort of reconciliation, hearing them out, you may have removed that from the table here. Let's see what else we have going on for Capricorn, please. Three more specific messages here. What else might Capricorn need to be aware of? One more message, please. All right, so two messages came out. We will take what we have all together. I want to elevate my life with you. Please don't run away from this. We can walk through it together. I care about you a lot. I only want the best for us. I hope you feel the same. And do you see me for who I am or what I can do for you? So Capricorn, how this person is acting now, I feel like you, you very much don't appreciate it and you may have a different idea of them moving forward here. Because it's like, how can you be one person to me, but then you just switch up out of nowhere? I've been there for you. I've been willing or trying to understand you. I care about you a lot. I only want the best for us. I hope you feel the same, this being your energy Capricorn. Knowing where you're coming from, knowing that you're intentional, you're genuine with the energy that you put into this connection. And expecting and hoping that this person feels that same way about you. Not wanting to play games, no toxic energies included into this i want to elevate my life with you your energy capricorn but when a person is pulling away or they're backtracking it may not be your definition of elevation so that may make it not easier but in a sense easier to pull away because that's not what you want for yourself so why would you allow someone to pull you away from where you want to go 
please don't run away from this. We can walk through it together. I feel like this was once your energy Capricorn being inviting, trying to understand what this person was feeling when they started to pull away. But if you end up running away, don't expect me to chase you. Last but not least, Capricorn, we have... Do you see me for who I am or what I can do for you? Your energy, knowing what you bring to the table and knowing that not everyone is the same way that you are as far as having um, sincere intentions and a sincere motive towards getting to know you. As far as signs, Capricorn, we do have Virgo, Pisces, Virgo, Pisces. One more second, please and Taurus, Virgo, Pisces, Taurus. All right, Capricorn. Cancer could also be a relevant sign. If Cancer is, the reading will be posted shortly after yours. But Capricorn, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.